Here's what you need to know about Agnes Varda in about three minutes. Agnes Varda is affectionately referred to by many as the mother of the French New Wave. The French New Wave was a powerful film movement that was birthed from France's film scene in the 1950s to 1960s. As Varda states herself, the members of the New Wave did not get their start as filmmakers, but instead as film critics. Varda would actually marry another member of the New Wave, Jacques Demy, but the two never made a film together. The New Wave filmmakers used their films to subvert the expectations of genre and tear down what audiences thought movies were, with unique camera techniques such as frequent long takes, unorthodox and somewhat choppy editing, extremely low budgets, and focused on a general sense of rebellion. Varda worked in photography for years, but decided to go into filmmaking when she felt cinema gave her the chance to tell the story she needed to. One of the main things that defines Varda's filmography is her unique visual style. And due to her previous experience in photography, she paid very close attention to everything in frame. A great example of this attention to detail is in Varda's autobiographical documentary, The Beaches of Agnes. Early on in the film, she recreates a childhood memory of herself playing on the beach as physically accurate as she can. Varda's filmography cannot be discussed without mentioning its frequent social commentary, often addressing feminist issues. Varda's second film, Cleo from 5 to 7, follows Cleo, a pop star, as she deals with being objectified by society and her eventual rejection of those expectations. The story unfolds in a really unique way, as it depicts two hours of Cleo's afternoon in real time. Varda's films were shot on location, although the limitations of recording equipment at the time made it significantly easier to film on indoor sets. Why did she do this? Though there were some budgetary constraints, Varda set out not to evoke just a sense of authenticity with her films, but true authenticity as a filmmaker, and an indoor set would betray that. In her later career, this authenticity was found in the documentary she made, and often was accompanied by her strong sense of humor. Varda's last film, Faces Places, was a documentary she co-directed with artist J.R. As the two traveled through France, they create unique art installations that highlight ordinary people. As they travel, Varda frequently reflects on her life, making fun of the somewhat pretentious attitude she had in the making of her earlier works. Varda's creative voice remained powerful, raw, and unmistakably hers for her entire life. If you would like to see some of her work, I'd recommend Cleo from 5 to 7 as a great place to start, and then checking out some of her later films, like One Sings, The Other Doesn't, and Vagabond. To find out more about Varda herself, I'd watch The Beaches of Agnes, and faces places. Tell me what your favorite Agnes Varda film is in the comments. Hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.